Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and I am excited to see that Instagram has finally opened up the RTMP and um, key and all this other stuff so you can now directly live stream to Instagram instead of going through these other third party services, kind of like Yellow Duck and all this other stuff. Now you can completely bypass it and go directly to Instagram. So let me show you how to get that done. All right, so first thing you need is you need to have a professional account, and that is real simple to do. You just got to come in here and change your account over. You can come over here, and then you would go up here to settings. And if you don't have a professional account, you would just go down here and the button to change it to a professional account. Very simple. So what do you need to do to get to it? All you have to do now is when you get your once you have your professional account, it doesn't take that long. It's like a button switch, maybe a couple of minutes to switch it over. You're just going to come over here now to create, and now you have live video. So I'm going to do this as a test. And actually, no, nah, let's, let's do this for the audience. Uh, live stream test, right? We're going to select our audience. We can do practice, public. I'm going to do public. Go next. And then we're going to get our information here. Now, it is going to do it vertically. So what I'm going to do is actually stream from a different device so that this will show up straight. But you got your streaming key. And let's do this with the ATEM because that's what I'm already on right now. Or you can, no, you know what? Let's do this under OBS. Let's do it that way instead. Let's go over to OBS and... As you can see, I'm actually using another camera, so this way this will work so that I can easily do this and record everything. So, and again, excuse my cable in the way. <laughs> Let's get in there. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to change the canvas so that we can leverage this appropriately. And let me move my camera here so it can get me easily. So, what we're going to do is come over here to settings. We're going to go to video, and we're going to change our canvas to 720 by 1280 to make it vertical and you have to do that so that the output can be changed as well too. Then in the streaming you go ahead and put the server URL and your streaming key that's coming from Instagram and that's it. So we got that. I have my Sony camera here that's pulling in audio as well too. So let's go ahead and move this to the side and we're back here and we're going to try this one more time because actually this is my second time recording because I didn't have record on. So let's go back here to create live video OBS live test. And for everybody else who's watching, I'm going to say two so they know. And we're going to change this to public. Let's go next. We're going to get our information. I'm going to copy this just to make sure because I don't know if there's a persistent key or anything like that um, yet. So it's just a good practice to just copy and paste those again. So I am now streaming OBS. I just started it there and just waiting for it to update over here. Now just make sure when you do this, your subject is in the center of the frame. So there we go and we're live. So everybody who was watching, hey Instagram, hey we're live again because I didn't hit the record button. So if you had joined, <laughs> And this is that's why it's called number two. But again, this is streaming directly from OBS directly to Instagram. Make sure if you do this, you have to have a professional account, which is just a, a bunch of button clicks to switch over to your account. So now we're opening up another stream of ministry for your ministry. And we're not using any type of third party apps or whatever. We're just going directly from OBS, your ATEM, VMix, Ecamm Live, any of these that can accept a custom RTMP and you can go directly there. So um, I can see I'm not getting anybody on here because again, I've tried this three times, but again, um, I'll probably splice in what I recorded as well on top of this um, if I can. Actually, you didn't record it, AJ. But anyway, um, I'm going to go back. I'll put a link down here. Hopefully, the one thing I need to figure out is where they're saving all of these videos so that you can get access to them so that they stay. Because I think by default, they are wiped out after like 30 days or something like that. But again, really cool um, that we have this option. So let's go ahead and stop streaming from OBS and we'll stop the stream here. And that is cool. So you can see 
um, discard video. I don't want to do that. Download here. I don't want to discard this video, so I want to see where that goes. So if I click, if you continue, this live video won't be saved unless you previously chosen to archive all of your live videos for 30 days. So again, I don't think I did that. So I'm going to cancel that. Um, and that's just one setting I know I need to go back. So it looks like I didn't have everything set up so that it archives. All right, so before I end the video, I'm going back. <laughs> this is in the future, and I'm splicing this in. I actually saw where you can edit this. So if you go inside the Instagram app, and you go to your um, archive, I already had this set, and you go under archive live, so all of the videos that I had were here, so yay, I will be able to add this back, but just if you're interested, you go over here to your settings, and then we're just gonna type in archive, and there are your settings, save story to archive, save live to archive that way you can go back and download them and stuff like that so hopefully that helps awesome tool that's now added to your repertoire for your media ministry so if you have any other questions leave them down below and we can play around with this stuff as well too you never know we might have our q a jump over to live now that i can use the whole setup and now we got to change our layout so that everything is in a vertical instead of a horizontal but Anyway, nothing to matter with that. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing. Hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. Catch you on the next video. Later.